there. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of... Who's my last one? Sag. Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you for being patient or impatient. I don't know which it was. Hopefully patient because that's going to be a big part of our energy. Huh? Being patient is trusting. When we are impatient, we start to not trust that everything is happening in divine timing. And then what can end up happening is we throw ourselves off of the trajectory. So here we begin. This is for the second half of August, but of course time is an illusion and energy is fluid. This could have already happened. This may not happen until September. First card is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like some of you may have met someone new and it was based on a very flirtatious encounter and you blew it off as just that. It really ties into the collective energy I've been feeling recently as possible a sexual, very casual, passing in the street, hey, beautiful, cat calls, just want to have fun, turns into something more. It really ties into that. Of course, all the details will be different, but this would be something where you think it might just lead to nothing but flirting, friends that fuck, whatever it would be. Um, and it actually ends up turning out to be something that could be filled with extreme long-term potential. Um some of you it almost just feels like you need to be just a little bit more spontaneous and and really not put so much effort into it's almost like relaxing the energy is what i feel just they want you to just kind of like go with the damn flow Chill, have fun, laugh. Oh my God, you can't make it up. Look what card you have. Be spontaneous. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you guys next month, Saj. Bye. Who gonna try and tell me something? Who gonna try and tell me I don't know how to do my motherfucking job? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, go with the flow. Have fun, be lighthearted, be spontaneous. Six of Wands, Five of Swords. Why are you all in your head, some of you? Look at that. You or the other person's really overthinking it. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. It's all like this, like, you have this courageous, brave energy. Public recognition, victory and success. Boom, right? And then you have all this, sh like, energy. It's like a knight. Um, excuse me, it's a knight. This could be you guys too, Knight of Wands, right? It comes in very quickly, suddenly, could be a one night stand, things like that. I'm overthinking it, but I think it's something. I feel a spark. I think there's something here. See how she's kind of like looking at it like, she's like, what the fuck is this? Something comes in that you didn't see, didn't expect, maybe the way it is, how it was, you just didn't expect it. Overthinking it, overanalyzing, King of Wands. So it turns out to be an actual extreme potential. Kang Dangalang, as I like to call him. Arizio Sag, Ace of Swords, communication. It's victory, there's, a vic there's something about victory here. Victory over something. Somebody wants to... You're part of their victory. They want to win you. Maybe you're playing hard to get and giving them a hard time about this. Now it's, it's like their mission to win you over. Eight of Wands. Communication again. Could be travel. Shift in energy. Ace of Pentacles. They wanna, they're going to offer something solid. If it's not love, it's something else that could be career, work-related. Comes out of the damn sheer blue. And because it comes out of the damn sheer blue, this offer, you really got to think it over. Look at him. He's all dramatic about it. He's like, I don't know. I got to think. It's a life-changing decision. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So a very solid offer comes in. Somebody's got to think about it. They're rethinking about it. They're going over it again in their head. But what if this? But what if that? 
Well, but what if you fall in love? What if you miss out on having fun? What if it doesn't last forever, but it's super fun for these next four to six weeks? right and what if that's essential for you to get your vibration right because you know this person's going to help raise your vibration and it's necessary for you to get your vibration to a particular frequency for something else to come in like there's always reasons if you feel red flags or they're giving crumbs or it's something weird and you're going i don't want to just have a one night stand it's weird i don't want to do that but sometimes we don't intentionally mean to do that sometimes shit just happens you have the strength card that fell on top of the Ace of Swords. So this could be a Leo. Especially with the King of Wands here, it could be a Leo energy. It's strength to overcome something, right? Strength to what? For some of you, communicate. Or to, there's some kind of breakthrough. To recognize the breakthrough. Instead of sitting here over analyzing it over and over and over. It's like trying to find a flaw. <laughs> right? And the devil capricorn and the nine of swords fear that fell over here by be spontaneous fears worries anxieties what if it doesn't work out but what if it does i don't want to get trapped i don't want to feel tied down i don't want to be codependent right the devil energy can be all those things but it can just be could be capricorn too but the devil doesn't have to be anything horrendous right could be also slight borderline obsession maybe that's the thing too like it's almost like this person really really wants you so badly like they're obsessed the one that wants to win you over feels slightly obsessive but not in a bad way four of pentacles uh oh someone's not budging someone's not moving someone's being stubborn someone's not opening up or someone's clamming up a great offer comes in but it comes in suddenly or not the way you expect it or it's not the person you expected it to be with and then you go and fucking climb up don't climb up snake deception betrayal seduction sexuality see you're worried that that's all this is that it's just sex and for some of you it is just sex but for some of you it was just sex or a sexual chemistry attraction with each other that leads to something more or has the potential to lead to something more that's all that's all white wolf oh freedom somebody wants to be free see they're afraid that they're going to get tied down they they're afraid they're climbing up they're saying i want to be free though i want to roam i'm an alpha alphas don't run in packs it's like okay i'm an alpha and if i get into a relationship i'm gonna get into a relationship with another alpha so doesn't mean i lose who i am at this you have the mice stress worries it's literally doing this right the stress and the worry it's doing this worrying it's like worrying about something that doesn't exist but you're worried about something that could exist but it's like what if it doesn't happen and you worry twice right look at that the clover Oh, Lord, good fortune, unexpected rendezvous, carefree, a fling and flirt. That is like more than once that this energy is screaming because remember you guys had flirt. It's really flirtatious and you think that's all it is, but then it turns out to be more. It's a happy coincidence, good fortune. There's something about the good fortune. It's like you, it's like you can't believe your luck. Reminds me of like, Fifty Shades of Grey, how her luck was. Her friend had the fucking flu, okay? Her friend had the damn flu. She goes and trips in his damn office, and to her good luck, he's attracted to her stumbling and being goofy, and, you know, it's her, to her luck. But was it luck? Is it luck or alignment? Look at Deb. 
he Christian Grey thought it would be just another encounter that she would be just another submissive right that's what he thought he said I don't do relationships this is all I can offer he had no clue it was gonna end up being the love of his life and he would get married remember he didn't want to have a baby too freaking out about having a baby that when she was pregnant freaking out and then like ends up at the end of the movie it shows they have their baby but then she's also pregnant again and it's just like that feels like this it feels very much so like i had no idea that it would be this great like i had no idea of what i thought i had this preconceived notion they want you to be free flowing now they want you to kind of go with the flow be spontaneous the spontaneous thing is a really big deal because it feels like it's going to kind of redirect you a little bit and if you're rigid and you're stuck and you're very four pentacles like this they can't like manipulate your movements to get you to kind of get on another path you have success and you have inner peace a lot of you during this time period which virgo season may be going within retreating maybe you guys are focusing more on your breaths more on meditation more on quieting the mind maybe listening to mantras some of you guys are going within to just seek balance Sometimes when we search for answers, we can't hear anything. We don't find answers. It's when we stop looking. We stop asking that the answers come to us. And with the success card here, it's just in the end, it's successful. This job, this opportunity, in the end, it works out. Why are you so fearful? It could end up being the greatest thing ever. It could. I mean, sure, it has the potential to break your heart, but it's a risky take, huh? Look at your last card is miracles. Look at the double rainbow. If you just saw that collective reading I did, talked about the double rainbow. Yeah, we got that in the Intuit Oracle deck, the double rainbow. There's something really serendipitous and faded about this encounter that may have started differently it's flirtatious just sex very christian gray 50 shades of gray very like that this is all i can offer this is all i want i'm incapable of giving more and then meets the love of their life everything always changes when we meet the love of our life right everything goes out the window it's instant redirection it's gonna get juicy if you let it what 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 <laughs> all right thank you for all of your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube please follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and if you want to book a reading with me please check the description box below of all of my youtube videos see what i offer first and then when you're ready to book it please shoot me an email put in the title of the email exactly what it is you want to book so that i know what to invoice you because the prices do vary all right i will see you guys later Sagittarius. Go with the flow. Be spontaneous. Love you guys. Bye.